Although in this problem, we're going to figure out if this economy is experiencing runaway inflation or in a recession using this simple uh, economic model. Okay, so this is often known as the aggregate expenditure model. Uh, it's a math model and we can get precise numbers, not very applicable to the real world, but uh, it is sometimes what you're asked to do. So uh, one thing we know is that we know that the full employment level of national income is 6,500. So this is what we want it, the economy to be producing. We want Y to equal that. So current Y is going to be C plus I plus G plus the value of exports minus imports. You might be familiar with this uh, formula already because it's basically the GDP formula. GDP is another way of expressing aggregate output or aggregate income. This level right here is net exports, so imports can be higher than exports. In this case, the value of the exports are zero and the value of the imports is zero, so we don't really have to worry about that. Okay. Um, so we just really need C plus I plus G, which is the bulk of any, any nation's economy anyway, so uh, not not unrealistic to think about this. Um, we have a variable up here, it's R. R is the interest rate. So we need to find out what the interest rate is. So we're gonna use this here. Uh, that equilibrium interest rate could be real, could be nominal, it doesn't really matter in this model, but uh, however your instructor talks is what you wanna do with that. Okay, so we're gonna solve for the R where MD equals ms okay so ms is 925 so we'll just write that 925 let's actually not write it right there let's write this guy down here okay so md is 1000 minus 500 r equals 925 okay so we're just solving for r we're going to add 500 r to both sides 500R, and then we're going to subtract 925 from both sides. This will be 75. R equals 75 over 500. I did this already, but I'll do it anyway. Well, that's right there. So 75 divided by 500 is 0.15, so 0 0.15. Or in real world terms, this would be 15%. A fairly high uh, interest rate facing this economy. What are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to plug it into this formula right here because we want to solve for i. This will give us this i number. Okay, so uh, that would be 700 minus 2,000 times 0.15, and that is going to equal, so 2,000 times 0.15 is 300. 700 minus 300 is 400, so investment in this economy is 400. Government spending is 300, taxation is 300, so this tells us they have a balanced budget. Okay, if government spending is higher, then you have a deficit, uh, and you'll either have to borrow from future taxpayers or borrow from the bond market. In this problem, they're balancing the budget, so we don't have to really have to worry about that. Okay, so uh, now we can pretty much set this up and we're just gonna solve for Y and see, and then compare that to that 6,500 number and see where we're at. So we're gonna solve it like this, Y equals 200 plus, okay, now Y D, so we're at, so it'd be 0.9, Y D, Y D is disposable income. So it is the Y, minus t and we don't know why yet but we're going to find out so it'll be just gonna pull up. we're just going to plug this part into here why but we do know t because t is a lump sum tax of 300 that's how we talk because the tax doesn't change based on income it can though so that just makes your formula more complicated and you just plug that plug that guy in there with a more complicated function uh, then we're adding Y, uh, I, which is investment, that's 400. And we're adding government spending, which is 300. Okay, so 400 plus 300 is uh, 700 plus 200. So this is 900. This is Y. This is plus 0.9 Y. And then 0.9 
times 300. Well, it would be 270 because 10% uh, of 300 is, um, is, th is 30. So we can just take that away from that number. So that would be that number there. Okay, so we're going to subtract 0.9 from both sides. So we get 0.1y over here. And then over here, it would be, would that be 630? I better check. So I'm gonna make sure I make sure you get the right answer. 900 minus 270, 630. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, all right. I don't like those videos where they're like they just pop out the answer like they somehow knew it. Come on. Man. Uh, anyway, we're gonna divide 0 0.1 by both sides. Yeah, some of these people are that brilliant. Um, it's, it's really just like at, uh, multiplying both sides by 10. So this would be 60. Uh, 6,300. So this is the current level of output, 6,300, which is less than the full employment level, which is 6,500. And so uh, we need to increase aggregate demand by uh, 200. And the way we would do that is we would change the interest rate. So by lowering the interest rate a little bit, we can see uh, what we would get here. So like if we lowered it to, I don't know, let's say point Point one. Okay, so the way to do that now is we, um, if if this is R, we need to know what what we can actually change in, through monetary policy is the money supply. Okay, so we want to change the money supply. We want to increase that to where R would be point one. So let's see uh, what we could do with that. Okay, so. Um, MD is still 1,000 minus 500, but now we know R, so this would be 0.1 uh, equals MS. So we're just going to solve for MS here. And this would be, this would be 50, okay? So 50, that would be 950 here is the money supply. Okay, so uh, by increasing the money supply by 25, we would get a, a decrease of an interest rate to 0.1. Okay, so let's resolve everything. Okay, so 0.1, uh, that's going to be, it's basically going to increase investment to 500. Okay, let's see if that was enough. Okay, so now it's really the kind of the same thing here. Uh, 500 plus 300, and then we can kind of use this part, since this part didn't change, we can use that 7, 270 plus, oops, that's a minus, 0.9y, and then 900 equals y, okay, and we'll start adding everything together. This is only going to get us to 6,400. So we didn't quite get there, okay? Uh, let me just make sure that's eight hundred seventeen hundred, 1,700, and then minus 7. Oh, this is, this is wrong here. This is not nine hundred. This is this would be two hundred. So two hundred plus all that. So this would this would turn into uh, one thousand. Yeah. So this only gets us to sixty four hundred. So another way you could do this would be to just solve backwards and to figure out what interest rate you need. So you set up the the whole problem as sixty five hundred equals, and then we got C plus. Uh, so 200 and then 0.9y. Uh, you could also change the tax rate. So if you wanted to change the tax rate that way, uh, leave the interest rates the same. Okay, so this is 300, kind of hard to read, sorry. Uh, and then solve for disposable income and then change your tax rate to that. Your tax rate's going to have to be lower 
than uh, than it was before. So you could just plug in a number there. So like 200, solve for y, see what you get. If you get 6,500, then then everything is good. If you don't, uh, you need to change that level of t. And that's how to manipulate this problem when you know full employment and we want to figure out are we in a recession or not.